Hey everyone, this is a video to show you how to do the pre-flick Blah, 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 blah. prefix flat book if you don't want to print it off with your printer. All you need is a piece of plain paper. I'm using a piece of computer paper, plain white. You can use notebook paper, anything you want. This is what you do. First thing first, fold it in half, hamburger style. And you will need a pair of scissors to cut that in half. Okay, the first half, are you ready? I'm gonna fold it hamburger style. See that? And I'm going to very lightly separate this into thirds. So I could S fold it, or I could just eyeball it and draw lines. Or if I wanted to, since you're learning all about measurement in math, it would be a great idea to get a ruler and figure out what exactly the thirds would be. Bonus points for anybody that shows me the proper measurement to put it into three equal parts or thirds. Okay, I'm going to eyeball it right now. So I drew my lines. Now see how it flaps up this way? I'm going to cut. And cut. Okay, so there are my three flaps. On the first flap, I'm going to write the prefix un. And I like to put a little line after that because that tells you that more word comes after that. The next prefix I'm going to write is pre. And the third one is, do you know what it is? Re. Okay, and then what I want you to do is write the words that are on that worksheet under the proper flap. So for instance, one of the words on that worksheet is blank cycle. Blank cycle. Do you think that's uncycle, pre-cycle, or recycle? Which one? Uncycle, pre-cycle, or recycle? Hold up. One, two, or three. Uncycle, pre-cycle, or recycle? I hope you're holding up three because it would be recycle. So what you do is you lift up the flap for recycle and you can write them up here on the top and you can write them down here on the bottom and do that for all the words. The next word would be school, blank school, unschool, preschool, or reschool. What do you guys think? Okay, so just go ahead and write the words. You can just do it right like that. Or if you don't even want to do that, you can even just take a regular piece of paper and just divide it into three sections and write them on it without the flaps, but I don't know about you, but I'm a big fan of the flap books. Okay, again, see you next time.